So I just made it here back to the Conowingo Dam. It is uh, late April. This is actually my first time being at the dam in springtime. Usually I come here in November or December in late fall, which is usually the best time. Now the reason why I come here during the spring is there is the shad run. So this is basically when the, the shad are running up the river up to the dam and it attracts a lot of eagles. And some say this has been better than the fall the last few years. So uh, I made the five hour drive down from New York and here I am. I'm actually one of the first people here in the late fall in November, you have to get here right as the gate opens at four or five in the morning to get a parking spot sometimes. Cause that's how busy it gets. So we'll see how many eagles are here. I don't know, but uh, it's a good start to the day. feels nice to be here in the spring and hopefully I get some good shots. The first thing that I noticed that there was a lot of eagles there. And as I started zooming in with my camera, I could see on the other side of the river by the rocks, just hundreds of eagles. I lost count at 150. I would see them on the rocks. I could see them behind the rocks in the trees. They were behind me and you could just hear them squawking as soon as you pulled into the dam. So what happens here is that fish go through the dam and when they go through the dam it either stuns them or brings them to the surface and this makes for an easy target for the eagles. So what they do is they either sit in the trees or the rocks or fly over until they spot one of these fish that has gone through the dam and then they make a move. On this day, the water was really high, so it made it much more difficult for the eagles to get their timing right. And many times they just missed or the fish went underwater. With hundreds of eagles around, it was first come, first serve for the fish. And many times, they would just fly right over your head with their freshly caught fish. And then they would eat the fish in the trees right behind the park a lot, making for some great close-up shots. However, that's not normally the case. In fact, many times the fish never makes it back to the trees. The biggest threat to bald eagles is other bald eagles. So when a fish is caught, there's a line of eagles ready to take it away. Bald eagles are known thieves. Like most predators, they go for the easiest food available. And usually, that's an eagle with a fish. And this leads to some awesome aerial acrobatics. The 
This also leads to some flying fish. which sometimes are caught. But you can't celebrate too early. Or you might get the fish ripped right out of your talons. Many times it just comes down to the hungrier eagle. Which one wants it more? One clever technique they like to use is they wait for an eagle with a fish and they wait for another eagle to pick a fight. And that's when they come in and they swoop up the scraps. In this case, a fish head. Same technique here. As the two eagles were flying into the water, another adult comes in and steals the fish. Smart move. I think the more talented eagles quickly learn how to evade other eagles and hold on to the fish as long as possible. It's very important that you protect your fish and watch your back. Bald eagles aren't the only ones that are attracted here for the fish. Meet the cormorant. The cormorant is a duck that dives under water to capture its fish. And there's plenty of fish here for them to catch. but there's also a lot of cormorants here. Eagles aren't the only ones that have to fight for their food. And the more they fight over the fish, the more it attracts the attention of the eagles. This cormorant was lucky enough to get the fish down before the eagles came to steal it. But the cormorants here learn quickly that you have to eat fast or your fish might be a goner. In the majority of the time, the cormorants were able to get the fish down pretty fast. But every once in a while, either they came across a fish that was too big, or they had to drop the fish. And then, well, 
He became the eagle's fish. Just wrapped up a good day here at uh, Conwinger Dam. Um, saw a lot of eagles today. Got some good action shots. A lot of the action was on the other side of the river, but there was a ton of eagles there. They were pretty feisty, especially in the morning. The water was pretty high most of the day, but there was still some close shots. There were some good fights. One of the craziest things I've seen, this is the first time I've seen this. I saw a blue heron fighting an eagle for a fish, and the bald eagle seemed to be hopping and I was like, why is he hopping? The bald eagle only had one leg. I've never seen an eagle with only one leg before, but it was still surviving. It was still catching fish, so what a cool eagle. So just a good day to be at the dam.